Located at the center of the country, the city of Abuja is described as very beautiful. It is known for its wonderful road networks, known for its parks and gardens, and most notably, its mountains and rocks. Built in the 1980s, Abuja replaced Lagos as the capital of Nigeria in December 1991. It is a city known for its geographically rocky and mountainous landscape. A popular rock in the city is the Aso Rock, which many mistake for the presidential villa, but is actually a 1,300 feet monolith around the presidential villa. This rock at Katampe is easily accessible. We make our way to the top of the rock. People come up here to hang out and also get a good view of the beautiful city. For others, it's a worship site. Probably because of its easy access, the rocks have been broken into small pieces and sold for different purposes, albeit illegally. The stone breakers, as they call themselves, have their phone numbers inscribed on the rocks. I decided to call the number, posing as a buyer. Moments later, this man shows up, ready for business, but I am more interested in whether he has the permission of the authorities to break and sell the rocks. Having pleaded for an off-the-record conversation, he tells me that it is illegal to break and sell the rocks, but they do it anyways, for survival. I reached out to the Director of Information of the Federal Capital Territory Authority to find out what the FCTA is doing to deter the stone breakers. If you do not seek approval and you go ahead and you do that, we can, we can uh, um, take you on that violation of that act. And um, once you are arrested, you will face a magistrate court. But unfortunately, the penalty is so minimal because the act itself is, is very old. It's of 1997. You can imagine 1997 is almost about 20 years ago. We cannot take you to magistrate court and magistrate court will, will give you a sanction of 5,000 naira. Anybody can just throw 5,000 naira at you and go ahead and do what they want to do. And that will impact on the environment. This is the city gate, the entry point into the city center from the airport. Right next to it is the national stadium and two gigantic rocks, a popular location for hikers. Our next stop is Pape, an entire suburb built on hills and mountains. Now, in 2018, this area was rocked by a ground shaking, which investigations revealed was a, was a tremor uh, caused by mining activities and rock blasting, prompting the authorities to put a ban on those activities, except, of course, with express permission. The FCTA Director of Information insists that the ban is still in place. To avoid any disaster in Abuja, we decided that before you do any of such, because sometimes it may be necessary for you to have all this uh, uh, mining activity, especially for sand or for rock, to create infrastructure. Before you do that, you must come and uh, to the FCTA and get approval for such. Apart from the mining potentials of the rocks, the FCT authorities regard them as a tourist attraction. But that can only be possible if these rocks are protected. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.